Hi, my name is Cody Metropolis. I'm an occupational therapist and certified hand therapist with integrative dry needling. Today, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about how I use dry needling in my practice and how my patients benefit from it. Today, we'll be discussing the management of trigger finger. Now, we know that trigger finger occurs when the tendon that controls the finger cannot glide smoothly in the sheath that surrounds it. This may occur if the tendon sheath becomes swollen or inflamed, or if there's a small nodule that forms on the flexor tendon. That nodule then gets stuck or caught underneath the A1 pulley, and the more it gets stuck or caught, the more irritation and inflammation happens. Typically, our patients will present with symptoms including stiffness, clicking or popping of the finger, the finger locking in full flexion, and pain and tenderness surrounding the palm. Typically, we see treatment that includes splinting, injections, medication, and eventually the need for potential surgery. What I want you to look at a little bit differently today is how I incorporate dry needling into that practice to helpfully reduce that potential need for surgery. Now, there's a lot of research that's out there on tendon needling and the ability to reduce inflammation to not only affect change on the local tendon itself, but the surrounding tissue and reduce the neurogenic inflammation. The thought is that we can disrupt the chronic degenerative process, encourage localized bleeding and fibroblastic proliferation. The effectiveness of dry needling for the treatment of tendinopathy has been extensively researched. Dry needling restores tissue homeostasis during which the physiological process of self-healing and self-repair are activated. Now, there's not been specific research on tendon needling for the treatment of trigger finger, but we can extrapolate the information and the research that's out there and apply it to tendon needling of the hand. We know the addition of dry needling can help reduce inflammation in the A1 pulley and the surrounding tissues and structures to not only help quality and quality movement, but improve tendon gliding, ultimately leading to improved occupational performance for our patients. As you can see here in the picture, the needle is through the A1 pulley into the tendon. We know that we can help reduce the local inflammation of the nodule itself, as well as the surrounding tendon, the surrounding sheath, and the A1 pulley. And this is really what we're all about at Integrative Dry Needling. So hopefully I gave you a little different perspective of how to treat dry, uh, trigger finger with the addition of dry needling. Thank you.